Welcome to LearnPedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEAT resource at your fingertips. Now take a look at this actual JE question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. Okay. To know the best way to answer this question, continue watching this video. Stretching of a wire. If a connecting wire stretches, its length increases, area of cross section decreases. So, resistance increases but volume remains constant. Suppose, for a conducting wire before stretching, its length is L1. Area of cross section, let us call A1. Radius, radius we can consider as R1. Diameter as D1. Then, R will be, or resistance R1 will be rho L1 by A1. After stretching, its length becomes A2. Area of cross section A2. Radius will become R2. Diameter D2. Resistance R2 will be equal to rho L2 by A2. Ratio of resistance before and after stretching, we can directly write in terms of length, in terms of area cross section, in terms of radius or diameter. If length is given, then R is proportional to L square. Radius is given, R is inversely proportional to L square. R to the power 4. Let us see. Because volume is constant. If a conducting wire stretches, its length increases. Area of cross section decreases. So, resistance increases, but volume of the wire remains same. For a conducting wire, before stretching, length is L1, area of cross section R1, radius is R1, A1 is area of cross section, diameter D1, then R1 will be equal to rho L1 by A1. Similarly, after stretching, length is L2, area of cross section A2, radius R2, diameter D2. Then R2 will be equal to rho L2 by A2. Ratio of resistances before and after stretching. R1 by R2 is equal to L1 by L2 into A2 by A1. That is equal to L1 by L2 square. That is equal to A2 by A1 square. That is equal to R2 by R1 to the power 4. Or in terms of diameter, D2 by D1 to the power 4. If length is given, then R proportional to L square. R1 by R2 is equal to L1 by L2 whole square. If radius is given, then R inversely proportional to R to the power 4. So R1 by R2 is equal to R2 by R1 radius to the power 4. So volume of the matter remains same. Only length will increase, area of cross section is going to decrease. I hope you can now answer the question. Take a look at the solution now. Hit the bell icon below to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and learn more through such interesting videos. Use the comment section below to post your feedback, queries and questions. Keep watching to give an edge to your JE and NEET preparation. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying.